it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different. This is going to be picking my orders video. I got the inspiration from my friend Nick Hills, who does these types of videos where he goes around, picks the orders, talks about what he sold and like where it's stored and all of that fun stuff. So I thought I'm going to give that a try today. So shout out to my friend Nick Hills for the inspiration on this video. So let's get started. I have my, let's see if we can do this. The first order we're going to pick is this button. As you guys know, that's going to sleep now. I've been listing and selling these buttons that I got. Uh, I ordered, I didn't order. I bought that big tub. Sorry for the wobbles, more wobbles. Uh, I bought that big tub of buttons at that garage sale for $25. And I remember when I bought it, I was on the fence about whether it was a good idea, a good purchase. And it has really brought in a lot of money already. Um, I know there are people that would say like, oh, well, you're listing something that's really cheap. Uh, you could be listing, using that time to list something for a higher profit. I'm going to move a second. I got to move my arm. Sorry. Uh, but uh, from my point of view, I'm out with the kids a lot. And so it's real easy for me just to grab that tub of buttons. You know, I'll throw some into like a little shoebox a white t-shirt for my background and then just snap some pictures while I'm waiting for them at soccer or waiting for them in their class or whatever I'm doing. Um, and then just list. It's just super easy at that point. And I don't have to, I can work on the road and yeah, it's been, it's been pretty easy for me. And I have a video coming out pretty soon where I'm going to share about how much money I have made already on the buttons. The last time I looked, it was over $200. So while some of these are smaller sales, they are definitely that mortar between those bigger, bigger item sales, the big brick sales, you know, like I like to call them. Um, bricks and mortar, y'all. Bricks and mortar. Okay, so we're going to go find Willy Wings for, uh, the, for the first order. So let me show you how I have the buttons stored. <laughs> it's real fancy. Sorry, Mike. So here they are so far. Uh, I do have all like the political buttons in one of the tubs. And then the rest, you know, I had them more sorted out before by like the political ones and there were a lot of beer ones and uh, it's just really not that hard to go through and find them. So I just stopped organizing them like that. I do have all the political ones together. So let's pull that first one. Here we have the button, the wings for Wilkie, and it is going out in a little padded mailer. And then I just wrap my thank you card. Let me show you my thank you card. This is my card that goes in with all of my per my sales and it's got all of my social medias and, and shops. And then on the back, I have a coupon code for, for buyers. So I just take it and I put it in there and I fold it over it just to give it a little extra padding. And then that goes straight into the padded mailer. Super easy and ships first class, like super duper easy to pack and ship. So this first sale was on Facebook Marketplace, and I do list all my items on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Etsy, Mercari, and Poshmark. I use List Perfectly, and if you're interested, I have a link down below uh, where you can get, I believe it's 20% off your first month, 20, 30? I'll have to look at the link. Um, but yeah, click the link so they know that I sent you over there. So this was $7, and while again, I, I know it's like, ooh, it's only $7, um, the whole kit and caboodle of all the the buttons, each button was maybe a nickel because there were well over 500 buttons in that tub. So let's take a look next at Etsy. The next item is again, another button, and this is a Truman Barkley political button. And let me pull it open so, you, so I can see exactly how much it sold for. Uh, it sold for $10 and let me flip it around so you can see what it looks like. And you can see there it's sold for $14.99, which in, on Etsy, so on Etsy, that's going to be the, the price that it sold for and the shipping. And I do charge shipping because I get that question frequently like, oh my gosh, how can you make any money? $7 sale. And then you have to, the, the shipping, well, the buyer pays shipping on top of that. So on Facebook Marketplace, the sale would have been like $10 and something, but $7 was the amount they bought the button for. On Etsy, $14.99 is the sale of the button at $9.99 and the shipping, which on this one was five bucks, which is kind of high, but there you have it. Okay, so I'm gonna go pick that button and then it's gonna be shipped the same way. So I'm not gonna show you how I ship it again, but I can show you the button. So that was the nice little $10. So probably the profit on that will be like seven-ish dollars, you know, after everything's said and done. 
with the fees and everything. So maybe seven or more uh, profit on that. So that's pretty good. So the next thing is another item that I bought uh, in, I was intending to sell the whole set, but I ended up breaking the set apart and that were these alphabet cards. So let me show you the alphabet cards over here. And the one that sold was V for violin. And I think I have them up for 10 or $11. All right, let's go pick it. Here we go on the shelf. So this is my shelf. Sorry about that spin y'all of things that are just like hard goods just like randoms and then up high I've got like other hats belts shoes plush toys all that fun stuff but I have the flashcards right here luckily I know this is not my breakables all my breakable stuff I'll show you is over here I store all my breakables on this shelf over here and I put boxes underneath so they don't wobble around too much you need help with your vocabulary we're doing homeschool and we're packing sales vocabulary so here's the card and it they were these like cardboard ones and i bought the whole set because they're just these cool like vintage alphabet cards and i think to sell the whole set uh was oh gosh i, th I mean i think it was maybe 20 24 is what i saw in the the whole complete set for but when i opened it up the a and b were missing and so I listed all of the cards as nursery art uh, and sold them for $10 each. So this one, V, is the violin played by the Tramp, sold for $10. And let me grab what I'm going to send this out in. So yeah, I was saying I have this envelope, but the half size of it, and this is normally what I would put this in. But what I'm going to do is put it into this envelope and fold it over. So I'll show you how I do that. So here it is, I just folded it over and then I can mail it out that way. All right, the next sale we're gonna pick is this, the Dark Phoenix comic book. Uh, this sold for $12.99 and I got it for $0. So the comic book I got from a friend of mine who had nine, let's see, of these long boxes. And I went through and pulled the ones that were gonna be profitable. This was a task, you know, in front of the TV that I went through because I don't know anything about comics really at all. And then I lotted up a lot of the rest. And yeah, so this is how I've got them so far. I actually don't even have them all listed because just like with the buttons, I was going bonkers, like listing, listing, listing um, comics. And so I have them listed all the way up to like this point. So all of these back here still <laughs> still are not listed these are the ones that I have listed and I have them in alphabetical order so that I can find them a little bit easier so let's get this one out there it is dark, dark phoenix saga now it's ready to go off I just wrapped it in a piece of cardboard put the thank you card in there and it's ready to go so my next sale is another freebie item and as many of you know, I like Lego. We like Lego a lot around here. There's Pancake, say hey. <laughs> and so if you order things on the Lego site or if you go in the Lego store, on occasions they have promotional items. And so the next thing is a promotional item that I got, I can't remember if it was from the Lego store or from ordering from the Lego site. Uh, if you sign up, you get like points and all this. But it is, let me turn it around so you can see. It is a Lego Christmas tree, a little ornament, and it's over $12. And as you can see, you made $10.15. And, and this is on, uh, this one's on Mercari, so. Let's go over and see. I feel like I'm seeing so a lot. All right, up here, I have all my smaller Lego. And boom, right there on top. I actually have another one, so I need to make sure that I have it quantity too. So you can see, easy peasy to ship. It'll go in a little bubble mailer, just like the other stuff, which I love, love, love. The next item that sold is another button. This is a Bill Clinton button and it sold for seven bucks. This one was on Poshmark. I don't usually get a whole lot of sales on Poshmark, so I'm kind of surprised, uh, but my profits on this one were like four bucks. So again, super easy to photo. Like I said, just, I think I took the pictures in the car 
easy peasy. It's going to go into another little padded bubble mailer and off it goes. The next item that sold, again, I sold another one of these alphabet cards. This was another one that sold for $10 and this is the O Owl Begin, wait, O Begins Owl That Sleeps By Day. So super cute. I think I've sold probably eight of these um, at 10 bucks, which let's say $7 profit. And so like a good 56 bucks. I think I bought the box of them for $4 at the Goodwill. So again, that one's just going to ship just like I did the other one. I don't have, like I said, I usually have the half size of that big bubble mailer. I feel like I ordered some with my last coupon. I'll have to go look and see because I have a box of unopened eBay shipping supplies that are in there for my last quarter. Um, and so it might be, it might be what those are. So I probably should go open that box up and see, but that's going to go out. And I just got another sale as we were, as I was doing this. So we'll get to box up another another thing. So I've got two more sales on eBay to do and then I have two or three sales from videos from you know viewers so we'll we'll box those up as well and I'll show you what uh, friends bought from the channel and give some some shout outs. So the next item again that sold is the buttons. This this just goes to show you if you're not listing your stuff look at my stuff over here. If you're not listing your stuff it's not going to sell. But if you're listing it, it's going to sell. So, yeah, I need to get on the bigger stuff that's over here and start listing that. I was organizing jewelry, too. So this is all getting organized. This is all my junk, junk jewelry or things that I'm not, you know, craft or wearable, repairable. So that's going to get listed and sold as well. All right, so the next button that sold was this one. Again, I just I, when I was pulling the buttons, I went ahead and pulled this one out. It's Thurston Howell, Bobby McGee, and this sold for $11.99. So again, it's a quick, easy, I don't know, probably $9 profit on that one after all said and done. And again, buyer pays shipping on top of uh, the sale so that the shipping doesn't eat into my profits. So that, again, is gonna go into a little padded mailer, and then we'll pick the next item. I'm looking in the wrong spot. The camera sometimes is here, sometimes is there. The next item that sold is this Ray Dunn letter holder. It sold for $43.99 and I bought it for $3. My inventory note there has got my code. I listed it in August, sold for $3. And yeah, so Ray Dunn, I, I double check on everything for Ray Dunn because some things sell better than others. And as you can see, I've had this listed for a few months, so not a terribly long time. Okay, let's go to the breakable shelf. Here it is, right there, right up front. Here it is. So this one is gonna need a little bubble wrap and a little more care in the packaging. So let me pull all that stuff together. So I've got my eBay 8x8x8 packing paper and bubble wrap that I'm gonna use to wrap it up. Pancake has come to help us. All right, so here it is. It's all bubble wrapped up and it's going to get shipped out. And then I will, and then I've got two sales on PayPal from viewers that I will pack up and show you what we've got going. I wanted to show y'all too how I use List Perfectly because that Ray Dunn just sold. So I just log in. This is where it makes it super easy. I go to my listings because then, you know, it's listed across multiple platforms, right? And I can come over here. Ah, I clicked the wrong button. I can come over here and I, oh, I did it again. Son of a gun. One more try. It jumped. I can click Ray, you know, type in Ray Dunn. So it'll search through all my listings. And then this pops up, right? And so you can see here it's on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, blah, 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 blah. So it's sold on eBay, but I can come over here and click this and I can say select sold. And I just deselect eBay because I don't have to mark sold there. And then mark sold. And then it goes across and marks it sold on all the platforms and takes care of that for me. So the first thing that sold from one of the videos, like when I do unboxing, sometimes viewers on the channel or our friends of the channel, I should say, uh, ask to buy stuff. And it's a lot quicker because it takes me forever to list things. So this one from the last jewelry unboxing sold this little, it's a solo earring, but it's this really cute girl. And this sold for $10. That included the shipping. So that was, you know, it's going to be a nice, I don't know, nice for somebody. I guess make it into a, a necklace or something like that, a pendant, or maybe a solo 
solo earring. I don't know. You have to let me know what you do with it. And yeah, so that's going to go into a little padded mailer. So the next sale is a padded flat rate box of craft jewelry that I'm going to go pull from the counter right over there. So basically what I'm going to do is I just put a little padding in the bottom and I'm going to fill her up and send it out. We'll measure it and weigh it uh, when I get done filling it up. So let's go see. So basically I've just bagged up a lot of stuff. So I'll just grab a few bags to throw in here. Like this one I probably won't do because this is just straight up craft stuff. But there are others that are like a mix of things that I know I've bagged up. Ow, something poked me. Ow. <laughs> and so I'll just kind of grab bags. Some of them I started making color-coded stuff, like color-coordinated. Some of it just random mixes of things. And let's see, I think I can get some more in there. I might put some loose stuff in there. Hang on, let's see what I can do. So we're looking at 10 pounds. It's a flat rate and it was 42 bucks. That does include the shipping. So I can't math right now. I think it's what, $16 for the flat rate? I'll double check. So that flat rate is $14.25. Well, those are the sales and my workroom. So you can kind of see, I've cleaned up a little bit in here. It's still kind of a hot wreck, but let me know if you enjoyed this video and I can go dive deeper into some of my other sales that as I pick them and pack them up for you guys, so you can see what's been selling before the sales update because normally I do a sales video too but it'll have more than just this stuff in it so yeah I hope you enjoyed let me know what's been selling for you and I will talk to you on the next one bye everybody mm -hmm.